Hello viewers, we call the water droplets which comes from the clouds as a rain. But the harmful gases while mixing with this rain becomes the rain acidic and it is called acid rain. So let's discuss about the acid rain in this video. If you like this, please subscribe this channel for more videos. Let's first recall how the rain is formed. Water from the water bodies evaporate using the sun's heat and becomes water vapor. This water vapor rises from the earth's surface and go to the atmosphere. In the atmosphere, this water vapor are collected in a particular region and becomes denser to form clouds. When the cool air reaches these clouds, the water droplets are formed and these water droplets falls from the clouds to the earth's surface as rain. The rain we get from the clouds is one of the purest form of water. But do you know how the harmful gases react with rain to form the rain to become acid rain? Generally, the causes of acid rain may happen from natural as well as the artificial means. In case of natural, when volcanoes erupt, harmful gases gases such as sulfur dioxide, nitrogen oxide may come out of that volcano. These harmful gases mix it up with the water present in the clouds to form nitric acid and sulfuric acid. Another way of causing acid rain is by means of artificial way that is by burning the fossil fuels, the emission from the petrol and diesel vehicles, the chemicals emitted from the factories etc. When these chemicals mix it up with the rain water makes the rain acidic in nature. The acidic value that is the pH of the acidic rain is 6. This acid rain has more harmful effects to our nature. That is when the acid rain mix it up with the water bodies, it makes the water body become acidic and no underwater plants or fishes can survive on that particular water body. And finally, it will make the water body an unsafe one to use. Also, if the acid rain falls on the soil, it kills most of the useful bacteria which helps the plants growth. Also, this acid rain will be a harmful one for the buildings which are built using lime and marble because lime and marble consists of calcium carbonate. When the acid rain falls on these buildings, it will be degraded. A good example is Taj Mahal. Taj Mahal is built using a white marble. Due to the acid rain, Taj Mahal loses its color. So, by minimizing the use of fossil fuels and controlling the emission of the vehicles, we can able to save our nature. So if you like this video, please click the thumbs up button and share it with your friends to gain more knowledge and subscribe this channel for more videos. So thank you for watching.